Today, we will share about lessons from the breeze, the wisdom of the falling leaf Zen master story. Let's start. In a remote mountain temple nestled amid ancient trees and whispering brooks, there lived a revered Zen master known as Ryajin. The old master was celebrated throughout the land for his profound wisdom and his ability to impart deep insights to those who sought his guidance. But it was not his eloquence in words or his grand gestures that made Ryajin a true master, it was the way he could find the extraordinary in the simplest of things. One autumn morning, as golden leaves began their descent from the venerable trees surrounding the temple, Ryajin gathered his students in the temple's courtyard. The air was crisp and tinged with the sweet aroma of fallen leaves. The disciples sat cross-legged, their eyes curious, their hearts open to the lessons the master would unveil. Ryajin picked up a single, crimson leaf from the ground, its edges kissed by the first frost of the season. He held it delicately between his thumb and forefinger and then, with a tender sigh, released it into the breeze. The leaf spiraled gracefully to the earth, swaying and pirouetting as it descended, until it finally settled upon the ground. The wisdom of the falling leaf, Ryajin murmured, as the students contemplated the sight. Master, one of the students inquired, what is the meaning of this? Ryajin smiled and replied, the wisdom of the falling leaf is a lesson about the impermanence of all things. Just as this leaf falls from the tree and dances to the ground, so too does life itself flow like a river, always changing, always moving, and ultimately coming to an end. Yet, just like this leaf, life's journey is filled with beauty, grace, and purpose. The students nodded, absorbing the profound lesson, but they were hungry for more, AR 16,9. Ryajin then walked to the edge of a tranquil pond, where a gentle breeze played with the water's surface. He plucked another leaf, this one golden and glistening with morning dew. Once again, he let it float from his hand, allowing it to ride the breeze. This leaf, he said, teaches us to embrace the ebb and flow of life. It may sway in turn, just as our own paths twist and turn. But the leaf never fights the wind, it surrenders and dances with it, finding its own unique way to the water's edge. To truly live, we must learn to dance with the winds of change, rather than resisting them. The students marveled at the profound simplicity of the master's words and the elegance of the falling leaf. As the day progressed, Ryajin led his students through various exercises and meditations, all centered on the wisdom of the falling leaf. They learned about the interconnectedness of all things, for even as the leaves fell, they nourished the earth that sustained them. They explored the idea of letting go, allowing their fears and attachments to be carried away on the breeze, just as the falling leaf surrendered to its descent. They experienced the oneness of nature and the importance of being present in each moment, for the falling leaf did not worry about where it would land or what would come next, it simply danced in the current of the now. With each lesson, the students felt a deeper sense of peace and understanding. They realized that the wisdom of the falling leaf was not just a series of metaphors, but a profound philosophy that could guide them through life's complexities. As the sun began to set, casting a warm, golden light over the temple grounds, the students gathered around Ryajin, their faces radiant with newfound insight. They thanked their master for the lessons of the day, and one student asked, Master, will you tell us one more thing about the wisdom of the falling leaf? 
Ryajin nodded and gestured toward the trees above. The fallen leaf, he said, is a testament to the interconnectedness of all life. It is a reminder that, just as the leaf is an integral part of the tree, we are all interconnected in the vast web of existence. Every action we take ripples through the world, just as the falling leaf's descent sends ripples through the pond. We must strive to be mindful of the impact we have on the world and the lives of others. The students sat in silence, the wisdom of the falling leaf settling deep within their hearts. They watched as more leaves tumbled gracefully from the trees, each one a testament to the beauty, impermanence, and interconnectedness of life. In that moment, the Zen master and his students shared a profound connection with the falling leaves, with each other, and with the universe. They understood that the wisdom of the falling leaf was not a lesson learned in words, but one experienced in the depths of their souls. And as the sun dipped below the horizon, the temple courtyard was bathed in a serene, golden light, and the falling leaves continued their timeless dance, whispering the secrets of existence to those who would listen.